Spock, Spock 11. Spock, Spock, Spock. I'm here today with DJ Shane from DJ Shane Entertainment. Thanks for coming on the show today. Man, this is uh, it's an honor to be with you guys. It's an amazing thing you guys are doing, so blessings to you guys. We appreciate it. Shane, you got to tell us what is the role of the DJ at a wedding? Is, is it just to play music and have a party? I've been doing this uh, over 20 years. I want to say the exact number because I want to look too old, but going through the years of being a DJ and owning a, a, you know, a company with many DJs, an entertainment company, um, I get the call all the time and I still get it today. And even 15, 20 years ago, when people think of, okay, you know, I've got the flowers, I've got the dress, I've got the ring, got photographer, got the videographer, I've got everything. Oh, wait, we got to call, we got to get a DJ. But, you know, but we want a party. We want to dance the night away. And uh, I think that uh, they find out real quick, hopefully they don't find out too late, that once they get on the phone with the DJs and realize the responsibility of what a wedding DJ means to them, the flow of how things go, um, I always say that the king and queen, the bride and groom, is the heartbeat and we are the main artery. Now, I know that might sound crazy, but if you really think about it, when it comes to weddings, 75% of a wedding and reception is formalities. You, the guests are being seated, you mic the person who's marrying them, you do the actual ceremony, they walk down happily ever after, they strike a pose, they're doing their uh, rock star shots, we're entertaining the guests during cocktail hour, after that we line them up, we do the introduction into your first dance, toast, speeches, blessing is optional, everybody eats, we pick the tables after everybody's done eating, bride and father, good mom, boo, cake, garter, cake. So you have so many things, formalities, which puts a bride and groom on a pedestal, and then the dance and is at the end. So when you go to look for your DJ, yes, it's great to have dancing on the cloud and the sparklers and the photo booth and the lights and the up lights and the spotlight cake and the monogram and all that stuff is great. Blessings, please go with that stuff. We love it. But the core of what we do is DJ. Uh, what type of music you like, what you don't like. So when it all said done and I've sat down with uh, the brides and, and I've gone over all of the goodies that they want and putting that all together on the day of, all you got to do is show up and I'm going to take care of everything. Absolutely. That's been our experience too. We're like, oh, who's going to be the DJ? That's one of our first questions with our couples. And usually if we're doing video, they've already done that. They've already selected that. And we hear it's DJ Shane or it's Shane's company. It's like, boom, we know the day's going to go smoothly because it's not just about the party at the end. They have to manage the crowds, right? There could be 50, 75, 150 people, maybe more there. And without the DJ being able to manage the crowds and the groups and the formalities, it's going to be a mess. Even if you have a perfect timeline, you have a great coordinator, you have a great plan, without the DJ and the MC controlling the herd, things can get out of control really quickly. It's really hard to find someone who has the it factor of everything. If you're a great MC and a great DJ, now you gotta be able to read the crowd. Then you gotta be able to tell people where to go, where to stand, what to do. And then you gotta be able to line them up, get the names correctly, make sure you get the music correctly. And then you have to put that all together. So the responsibility on a wedding DJ is absolutely mind boggling. How I've lasted over 20 years, this is why I'm bald, okay? So if you really wanna know why I'm bald, this is why I'm bald, because it's, it's, it's a lot and, and for DJ Shane Entertainment has been blessed not only to be in the business for over 20 years because it's all I've ever done, but be relevant of today with all these young bucks that are coming up right now. So we try to look at the trends, look at TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, because if you don't pay attention to what the new wedding, you know, style and, and stuff that's coming in and, and into play, you're, you're literally going to fade out. You know what I'm saying? So it's important for me to watch what the young guys are doing and seeing, you know, for me, can I make that change? And absolutely, the wedding of today is way different than the wedding of it was 15 years ago. And just in the past two weeks, I've done eight weddings. And out of those eight weddings, I might've had one person that threw the bouquet and did the garter. So people are starting to 
get away from the old traditions and they're adding their own flavor. And one thing to remember too is, is that, and I know it's cliche to say, you know, what the bride wants, you know, she should get. And it's absolutely truth. And if there's anything I can give you, my best advice to anybody who's been in this industry, if you're just getting into it, if you've been in it for a little while, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. If the queen is happy, everybody's happy. We got mad love for the groom, but if he's smiling, it's all good. But if she ain't smiling, it's all going downhill. What do you talk to them about to make sure that they don't regret it later that they didn't do it, or at least like have a conversation about it? Well, listen, that's a really good point because I get it that, you know, the bride of today wants to dance the night away, but you also have to remember you are wearing the dress. You are the center of point no matter what. So if you long like to be the center of attention, you start cutting out formalities. It's only cutting your final album, your final video. Give the photographers and the videographers more stuff to work with because if everybody's dancing yes you're going to stand down in that crowd because no one else is supposed to be wearing white but there's once you get 15 20 minutes of people dancing or, or taking a picture it's the same shot for the next two hours so you know i'm game to do whatever they want but it would be unprofessional of me not to give my opinion and say hey okay you're worried about not doing the bouquet, why? And they'll go, all right, well, I don't have a lot of single uh, friends. And I'm like, that's okay. Basically, what we're trying to do is get the shot. So we'll tell everybody to come out to the dance floor. And then you're giving them, you know, a gift from the queen to you guys. So it's a gift. You strike a pose. You take a picture of the person who caught it. And it's not about the tradition of that's the next person that's going to get married. Garter removal. Who says that he has to take the garter off your leg? You know what I'm saying? You throw the bouquet. He already has the garter in his hand and he throws it to the guys. So there's different ways around it. And once you explain it to people, they thought about doing the formality, but it was certain things that they didn't understand. So you give them options. So that's that's basically how we try to do that. Yeah, you've been in the industry for so long. You have the experience that you have creativity. You have problem solving that a newer DJ or a club DJ that's never done weddings, uh, they may not have that. So I know when there's any little thing that might go awry, which as complex as a wedding is, there's always going to be something like the weather doesn't agree or you know something was you know a little bit weird. We're going to solve it, right? So. Um, do you talk to your brides early in the process, your couples about that? Just, hey, we need to build in a little bit of time just to make sure we have wiggle room. Yeah, well, definitely. I mean, all weddings are not created equal. What I did on Friday is not what I'm gonna do on Saturday because they might get married in a certain location and they're having the reception at this time or they want to take a little extra pictures doing to the lighting. We're dealing with that right now because the time has changed. So cocktail hours are going a little bit longer because they're waiting till the sunset, getting that last minute shot instead of getting everybody in, everybody eats, and then you bring them back outside. I give my opinion, but in the, in the end, if the bride wants to do a certain thing, you know, obviously the queen gets the last word. That's right, that's right. Now, when it does come to the party, I know people now think, well, I could just play music on Spotify, and I have some horror stories to tell about that, but why don't you tell us what is the, the technical, the art, of you know, actually DJing and running a party and hyping it up and, and what is all this? Yes, well I actually have a video on YouTube and on our website that explains it and you guys actually shot it and we appreciate you doing that. But what it, what it basically explains is is that most DJs, and then just, I'm an old schooler so I just think this way that if you can't mix two songs you shouldn't be calling yourself a DJ. Doesn't mean that you are uh, in the wedding industry and you're doing music, but the whole point is to start and play a song and then be able to blend the next song in matching the beats per minute so the dance floor never stops. You know, so if you play a song and then fade it out and then play another song, now you've got to build up the vocals till the beat kicks or until they recognize the song. But a real DJ is actually going to do cue points in their music to where the vocals are coming faster into the next song. So you're never giving them a chance to breathe. If you notice with DJ Shane Entertainment, once the party kicks off, we are keeping the dance floor packed. And why? It's because we don't give them a chance to think. Now, of course, we want them to go to the bathroom. Cool. But, you know, or get a drink at the bar. Yep. Yeah, but come back. We want to give them a reason to come back to the dance floor because it's nonstop. Go, go, go. That hour and a half is going to seem like it's five hours because you've been through so much. So you do hour and a half. Don't stretch it more. It needs to be. Everybody is there at the end to do the sparkler send off you do private last dance happily after after we love you all boom boom that's it Shane <laughs> that's it <laughs> uh, well Shane thanks for coming out thanks for uh, imparting all that wisdom on us yes, so yes. tell us how can they find you 
Well, you can find us, DJShaneEntertainment.com, DJShane.net. You can call the office, speak to our Philly girl, Mandy, 321-259-2755. We're all over social media. Check us out. Like us on Facebook, DJ Shane Entertainment DJs. And, uh, you know, give us a call. So if you get married, we're there. This is what we do. Awesome. All right.